Hey guys, welcome to Waste Not Wednesday at the farmhouse. We are busy tearing down the addition so that way we can build the new addition. And so we decided to do Waste Not Wednesday here so that way Zeb could get right back out to the, um, what's that called? The mini excavator? Yeah, the excavator. Yeah, because we rent it by the hour. But we love you guys and we decided we'd take one hour and take some junk that we pulled out of the rubble yesterday and turn it into some cute farmhouse Christmas trays because Christmas is selling like crazy at our shop and we gotta get things going. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe and notification button. We go live every Wednesday at 10 a.m. Mountain Time with our Waste Not Wednesdays where we take junk and turn it into treasure and then of course we have our thrift hauls on Saturday at 8.30 p.m. Mountain Time and our DIYs and farmhouse renos. All right, so when you guys watch the demo video, probably it'll be up tomorrow. Um, you're gonna be freaking out and being like, they're not saving anything, it's all getting in the trash. Well, we're saving some stuff, look at that. Look at that full dimension lumber right there. It's gorgeous and huge and thick. Sorry, and I, this is just water in my McDonald's cup, lest you drink, think I'm drinking soda in the morning. <laughs> but it also still has nails in it. So we're saving what we can, and these are really rough cut. We're gonna have to do some prep on them. So I'm gonna go off over in the corner and sand stuff because there's no power over to this section of the house, and the extension cord is currently charging the dump trailer. Um, so let's so get after gonna, it. So what are you gonna sand it with? I can reach, over, but I gotta do it over there. Oh, gotcha, okay. <laughs> I, it'll be off camera. All right, well, while you're doing that, um, I'm gonna give them, a, if you guys have questions, you can go ahead and ask it. If you're new here, we have a 100-year-old farmhouse. The fireplace is behind me. We have a video on how we German schmeared this. We haven't finished above here, so I haven't got to that part yet. Um, and we also have a shop where we sell things at. And so we've been taking things from the farmhouse and transitioning them into decor that we can sell because everybody loves reclaimed stuff. Um, we sell this paint, it's called Farmhouse Finishes. It's a milk paint, but it doesn't chip. And you can buy it at jamierayvintage.com, but you can also pick it up at our shop in Lehigh. We have the address in all of our descriptions. It's USDA bio certified, which means when we're making trays that people may be putting food on, you can use this paint and it's food safe. Um, we also back. okay. We also carry Sweet Pickens milk paint, also food safe, so that's very exciting. The colors we're using today are Salem Red, Snow White, and Tavern Green. Which, if you were using the Sweet Pickens line, I believe Tavern Green is in a pickle, Snow White is flower sack, and then Salem Red I think is the same in both lines. If Caitlin's on here, she can tell you for sure. But um, we're super excited about this, and it's funny because Sharon just asked, "When are we painting the floors?" So we are going to be painting the floors, I would say probably in the next month or so. We really have to get um, this roof up and taken care of before we start doing anything inside because we don't want to do the inside, have something happen with the roof and have the flooring get damaged. Yeah, but we're, okay. right we're gonna be using um, farmhouse finishes on our flooring. So we have 100 year old flooring. It's in a really bad uh, patch job. We did as good as we could, you know, without uh, ripping it all out. And we're going to prime it with an oil-based primer to seal in any stains, smells. I mean, it's 100 years old. The wood's pretty nasty. Then we're going to paint it with farmhouse finishes and snow white. And then we'll seal it with a water-based floor sealer. So that's how we're planning on doing the floors in our farmhouse and possibly in the rest of the house as well with the addition because we're going to be actually putting um, plywood flooring down. We're going to make it look like wood flooring. We have a whole plan. So... Zeb is outside sanding this wood. Like you said, this is full dimension wood that we got out of the farmhouse from the demo we did yesterday. We'll have that video up tomorrow. You can watch uh, Zeb using the mini excavator on that. The cool thing about this wood is that it's rough sawn, so it's got really great character. We're not gonna stain it or anything to make these trays. And it, see how thick that is? This is a legit two by six. Today, if you were to go to the store and purchase a two by six, it wouldn't be quite two by six because they cut that lumber down. So that's how you can really tell the older lumber because it's what they call full dimension. The other thing that's cool about old wood, hopefully I don't lose you here because it might be a little bit boring, but you can see how tight these growth rings are because the wood was a lot older back then. Now they're cutting down young trees that aren't quite done growing yet, but the older wood is much, much stronger. So in 
the original farmhouse, we reused as much of the older wood as possible because it's a heavier, sturdier wood because it's more condensed because the wood itself is older. So I love using it for projects. We do have some raw ends on this. Can you see where he cut that that's lighter? Um, or maybe on this side. Yeah, this side's lighter. So I didn't bring it with me, but we do make a brown milk paint. And what I'll do when I get back to the shop is I'll water down the brown milk paint and make like a faux stain. And that way these ends won't be so light in contrast to the original um, wood. Well, and when we oil them, it darkens them And when we too. oil them, and we are gonna be using butcher block oil. We didn't bring any. You can also use, um, what's that other? Oh. There's a nail in that one. Careful. Still. <laughs> what's that other um, hemp oil is generally food safe so, too. So someone mentioned, and I, I've read this before, um, hemp oil, if you use it, you need to, uh, and tongue oil too, you need to kind of let them cure up before you start using them with food. Yeah, I give it about 30 days and let it get hard. All right, so let me show you. You can see the difference. One super rough still and gonna catch on everything. And this one, nice and smooth. So I just used 80 grit sandpaper on this one here and I also rounded the edges a little bit so it doesn't look so crisp and new and that'll go away. So you, like Jamie was saying, it's got some lighter spots on it. When we seal that up with the oil, that'll darken that back yeah. up a lot. We're gonna use butcher block oil. It is really important though that you sand it really smooth um, before you go ahead and um, stencil and seal it because if you're gonna put any kind of food like a cheese tray or whatever on it, you don't want any splinters in your cheeks. Okay, so next step, we're gonna be mixing up our paint here. Zeb, you're much better at that than I am. Well, we don't. We're doing it. We're doing it. So, what color do you want to mix up first? What do you think? Should we do the green? We'll do trees on this. Yeah, let's do some. Okay, trees. so we're gonna use tavern green. Yes, this is Pyrex. This is a pattern that just didn't sell here, so it's being used um, in a. You didn't bring me anything to measure with, by chance, did you? I don't know your eyeballs. We're winging it. I'm gonna we try to go thicker. You should mix it up with a whisk or a immersion blender. We have neither, so we're going to use this. Truth be Screwdriver. told, we almost canceled the day because we've got the equipment rented and we just, last minute, we threw this together for you guys. We, <laughs> yeah, we, I, we, we have, like I said, we have to pay by the hour for that excavator that's just sitting out there. But I was like, we can't miss Waste Not Wednesday. People are waiting for it. Screwdriver. You know what? I think I'm going to use this stencil brush to mix it up. Definitely need to make farmhouse tables. So we have saved enough wood to build a new farmhouse table for the farmhouse. And then a majority of the uh, island that Zeb is building will also be made out of this reclaimed wood. All right. So the other thing about um, this farmhouse finishes is that it, mix up, it mixes up smoother um, than the traditional milk paint. The colors are a little bit softer and it won't crack and chip the way that traditional. You still need to prep your pieces. Um, it's not magic paint, but if you don't want to use extra bond and you just want the look of milk paint without the chipping, then this is a good option. Plus it's boot safe, so. All right, so I make it a little thick. Yeah, it's thick. When you're stenciling, you wanna make it a little thick. So I brought this JRV stencil. These stencils you can pick up at jamierayvintage.com. They're nice because they're really thick. They're not like the cheap craft store stencils that you use in one and you're done. Um, and you can also go to jrvwholesale.com and we have over 60 retailers, I think, yeah, we're that carry now. these stencils all over the country, the US, uh, Canada, Australia. So what I wanna do on this tray is I wanna just do um, Christmas trees all the way across, but I, I guess we can always cut it if we have like a weird. <laughs> so let's start in the middle and we'll go out middle? towards the edges. You find the middle on that one. So what yeah. we're gonna do on these trays is I have these cut poles. Um, in true Waste Not Wednesday fashion, these are left over from an old project. I didn't go out and buy them. And these are gonna go on the end, so that way it's a tray that could actually be lifted. You could find all kinds of different pulls um, at your local hardware store, or if you're like us, you save them from every project. And you have a pull graveyard, as it were. Yeah, we, well, we'll call it a hardware graveyard. We got all kinds of hinges yeah. and all sorts of stuff. Every now and then I go through and organize it. My goal, is to buy um, something with a bunch of little drawers in it that I can keep here at the farmhouse and I'm gonna organize all of my hardware someday. All right, well, we have oh, that uh, big metal thing that you picked up like Caitlin, the... I bet you from Delaware, was it link emailed? Okay, I don't know what Kimberly's asking. Caitlin's taking care of her. 
Okay, let's see. If used on walls, does it have to be sealed? No, it's made actually for wall paint. It does not have to be sealed. Traditional milk paint, when it gets wet, um, isn't as water safe. And this particular wall paint, once it's cured, um, is more water safe. And you can buy this by the gallon on our website. If you need it at the shop, we special order the gallons for you. But you can order this by the gallon if you want to paint your walls with it. It is what traditional old milk paint, like what people painted their walls with, this is that same type formula. Um, if you want to scrub your walls, like in a bathroom or a kitchen, you would probably want to seal it just to give more scrubbability, but it's made to go like on wall, like drywall, whatever. If it's been painted with latex before, you might want to try a patch area because some latex is super shiny and yucky, but like if you just had prime drywall, totally just paint with this. All right, so got my little dab of paint over here and then I offloaded until my brush is starting to get kind of dry. This old wood, I don't think I'm gonna have to worry about no, really bleed through issues because it's gonna soak it up quick. But I would have used the big fatty one. Well, I use this one to mix the green. Oh, so. okay. <laughs> so he's using our JRV stencil brushes that you can pick up on our website as well. When you're stenciling, having a dry brush is so important. Also the right stencil brush is important. If you guys watched our video with Debbie Beard, she did it live uh, and she was like, oh my gosh, I've never stenciled anything in my life. And she really hadn't, like she's been telling me for months, she was frustrated with stenciling. And I'm like, you gotta have the right stencils, the right stencil brushes, and you have to have a very, very dry brush. The slicker the surface, the more dry you want your brush, meaning less paint. This is super porous, so you don't really have to worry about it. All right. I might need the, big the bigger brush. brush. The big one. <laughs> yeah, I Because I mix the paint up thick. We do have and... a sink here, so when we switch out colors, I can wash these yeah. in, the, in the sink. Well, we, we've got... I mix the paint up thick, and this old dry wood is just... Will it go as far as traditional latex paint? Um, yes, you would do multiple coats because it is like a milk paint. Um, but it's after you do usually two coats, you're pretty good. I haven't, I'm gonna be honest, I haven't ever painted walls with it. I just know from what my manufacturer has told me. So maybe I'll have to paint a wall with it and I'll let you know. But I have painted furniture with it and it covers very well on that. Well, I would say painting a floor is almost the same as painting yeah, a wall. We're, we're gonna, gonna get it. some real life experience with this here pretty soon once we do the floor. We have a huge, I think we have like four or five gallons in a bag. Sasha bagged it up for us. I just love that it's food safe. So when I'm doing things that may come in contact with food, I don't have to worry about it. How would I seal a stenciled window? Um, you wouldn't, you would just use a dry rag to clean it. You can take a fine artist brush and just seal over where it's painted and try not to get too much on the actual window. That would work, um, but it would just take you a little bit more time. If you were to seal, like take it and spray or brush the whole window, it's gonna make it a little bit opaque and you're not gonna have the clear window look. So something to keep in mind for sure. So I think I'm just gonna do two and then I'll have room to do two over there and then we can put the handle. Okay, I like it. Do you need help like holding this? No. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna use my hand here. So this Maggie one says I our new brushes are the bee's knees. They are. <laughs> they they really are. Like there's a lot of things that I'm like, okay, these are pretty good, but like the stencil brushes, I've used a lot of stencil brushes and these are the best. And I actually have a stencil brand, brand that sent me some other brushes back when I first started stenciling. And I, I don't know if it was Debbie or Mariah accidentally grabbed them and they're like, oh my gosh, this brush sucks. Like it didn't work good. And I'm like, I know. All right, so we're just using a portion of this on our um, little tray here, but I think it's pretty darn cute. Let's see, do we have a... Well, this would be, it's getting that time of year for like holiday parties and things too. Yeah, so this would be fun to put like a big long sliced loaf of bread on with some butter for a holiday party. Well, I'm always thinking bread because you know me and carbs, we're like this. Well, and this time of year, I mean gifts too. And how long is this going to take us to put together? I mean, I cut the wood to size. Was I out there two minutes sanding it? So if you didn't have access to reclaimed lumber, you would just use a traditional two by six. And then you're going to take the brown milk paint or brown farmhouse finishes paint, water it down and do like a faux stain. That way it's still food safe. You could beat it up a little bit and then stencil on top of it and get a similar look. You can even take a wire brush to new wood and make it look old. So I wasn't quite centered. What I'm gonna do while Jamie gets the next one prepped is I'm gonna cut this 
and go outside and sand that edge round <laughs> because it'll give me an eye twitch because I've got more negative on this side than I do on this side. So, and this is gonna go kind of like that, right? To make this into a tray? Yeah. Okay. Sweet. Um, I can't really prep anything because the other board you have to pull the nails out of. Oh, you know what? What? You could get really creative. I do have some little black dress. Okay. You could do like a wash and see if you can age that wood. All right, let's, all right, we can do a new wood. Okay, so this is new wood left over from the farmhouse, just different projects. We have a pile of new wood here too. We're not throwing stuff out. Um, let's see if I can hold this up this way. There we go. Gotta hold my iPad. So let's take and make this. Uh, like I'm gonna saw real quick. So okay, it's gonna get loud. It might not, but you know, oh. just fair warning. Okay, How am I gonna make a faux stain, my dear? Like a, like a wash. Okay, hold on. I'm just using, a, this is, oh, this isn't gonna be food safe though. Okay, we're just gonna make it. We'll show them how to do the mini wood. All pretend, right. Pretend it's a lantern. <laughs> Woo! This has been at the farmhouse for a hot minute. It's kind of thick and it's freezing here. You should always keep your paint inside. All right. In case you were wondering, it's very cold in here. We're gonna, while Zeb's doing that, I'm gonna show you guys how to do a wash. Pour that in here. We'll just mark it this as a sign and not a food safe tray. The DIY paint probably is food safe. They just haven't gone to get the bio certification yet. All right, so the, this is really watery. It's like 10 parts water to one part paint, literally. I've mixed this up here and you can do this with, if you want it to be food safe, you could totally use the farmhouse finishes pitch black. All right, um, and then I'm just gonna rub this on. Zed, would you grab me a paper towel? Yeah. If you sit down, I think they can see you again. Oh. Okay. Maybe. <laughs> so I'm just going to make this one into a sign, sweetie. Oh, okay. Because I don't like to use things that aren't food safe that will be. Did you use the back of my. I, I did. <laughs> I have to start with something. Okay. <laughs> you know, this is live television. All right. I'm probably going to go ahead and stain the sides because I know Zeb's not going to have time to frame this out. So I'll show you what this looks like, but you can make some really pretty stains with the paint. And the nice thing is that when you make these faux stains, they're water based. So if they get on your hands, it's not going to bother you. If you're doing it inside of a house, you'll have to worry about the smell and they're going to dry right away where like a traditional stain takes 24 hours. So this is just little black dress and water. I'll give you a close up here in a minute. Where are your poles? Squeeze under here. All right, so I'm just gonna mark where I'm gonna put the holes, and then I'm, this is so thick, these screws aren't gonna go through, so you guys will get to see me countersink them too because they are not long enough. Ta-da! All right, I see somebody saying LOL, so uh, we'll have to see what happens. I'm like, what did I do that was funny? So this is just watered down little black dress. It gives you a nice aged look. You can do that with the little black dress, or you can do it with the pitch black and farmhouse finishes, or um, what's the one, what's Sweet Pickens name for best black, or for the black color? Lantern. Lantern, yeah. So there you go. We're gonna let that dry for a minute and then I'll stencil over the top of that. Okay, so I'm just marking where the holes go for the screws because I have to drill through the top and I'm mostly just lining this up with the edge here straight. All right, I'm like losing my bowls here. It's a good thing we have this big table to craft on today. <laughs> We're really spreading out here. Oh my gosh, okay. If you guys want to pick up these paints though, you can go to jvrayvintage.com. I get asked that on every video. I feel like a walking commercial, but 
every time I don't share it enough, then I get the, where'd you get that at? Well, it's like people jump in or they skip through the video and they miss it. Yep, for sure. All right, so I've just got this color here, which is the Salem Red, and I'm gonna use that to do my little berries, I think, and then maybe where it says Merry Christmas across here. So this is another JRV Christmas stencil. I'll show it to you in a minute. You know what I need to do, sweetie? I need to wash that in the, we do have a sink here the that green works. Ones? Yeah, okay, I'll, that go, one. I'll go wash that and then I'll drill my holes. Okay, I'm gonna, I'll show them stenciling. I'll get started on this at least. So now that we've done our faux stain, I'm ready because it's already dry, mostly, to um, stencil. So I'll get my stencil centered. Can you guys see that there? Okay. Does that look centered, guys? Hard to tell. We'll do the finger test. Four fingers? Nope, not quite. Scooch. All right, that looks centered in the top of that's pretty good there. Some tape. Nothing's worse than a crooked sign with words. When you're using words, they gotta be not crooked. I'm gonna go ahead and do the green first. Will you mix up this red for me? Yeah. Do you want me to put the red? Huh? Do you want me to, are we just going to use this little brush with the red? Oh, yeah, that's because I'm going to do the berries. Okay. I know, everybody, oops, I'm probably covering it up. Everybody always says that sounds like somebody's knocking on the door. I had a one of our followers the other day, so they fell asleep watching us, and they got woken up thinking somebody was at their door, and it was just us stenciling. So the red is a little thinner. Oh, okay. I'll be more careful. The, the Salem you red. Can add a little bit more to it to thicken it up. What's the fun in that? What's the fun in that? You know what the fun in this is? I'm pretty sure I didn't offload very good, so we might have to. Okay. Do -do -do. All right. Oh, that's fine. That's not. Yeah, it's not super liquidy. It's just not as thick as. So when you're stenciling, Ooh, here you're going to mix your um, paint up thicker than you would for painting. So it's normally a one to one. But just play with it a little bit because the thicker your paint is, the better it'll stencil. So I'm just going to stencil these little berries on here. Oops, I went over a little. I'm not, you know, it's amazing I have a stencil on. I'm not the most accurate stencil. It's okay, I got you. I feel like that's crooked. Is that crooked? What? Uh, yeah. yeah, you know, no, it's, I think it's just your eye getting tricked because this grain took the stain more and so it kind of goes off at an angle. All right, well, you know, crooked or not, there you go. Merry Christmas. I think you're correct, because it looks like there's the same amount of space here and there. Alright, I feel like that needs some white, but I don't have any more bowls for white. Alright, I'm going to add some extra. Maybe if I just keep stenciling, it'll make it better. Maybe. Hopefully these holes I'm also like in the right very, very cold. Cold? So, it's warm in here. The sun is shining. Well, hopefully here in the next two, three weeks, I'll have the uh, the furnace hooked up. Oh, with any luck. Because we have power back in the house. I just got to run the gas line, but I have to have the uh, the pad poured first before I run the gas line. So, you know, there's a sequence of things that have to happen. I know, I know. All right, let's see. We got our little red berries here. All 
All right, so I used the 7 30 seconds drill bit to run these holes uh -huh. in. And on the bottom side, I'm going to use a half inch. That way the whole head of the screw can fit down in there. And I'll show you close here in just a sec. All right, I'll put this up. So as this is drying, you can see that stain's getting lighter and lighter. It's turned out pretty cute. Do you have any questions or? Um, let's see. Are y'all still hoping to be in the house in January? Nope, that's nope. gone. It's that's probably gonna be February. We had to wait too long on permits and, and engineers and the shop getting opened up kind of put a damper on things. So I'm like, our, our schedule is, I'm about a month and a half to two months behind where I was. I'm dying. Julie Marie says, knock, knock, who's there? Jamie, Jamie who? Jamie Ray Vintage <laughs> <laughs> with the stenciling. All right. Um, no, they, everybody says it's not crooked, so I guess I do okay. I'll give it a little distress and it'll be fine. Uh, Denise says her dog is barking. All right. That's a good dog. It's doing its job. Okay. I'm just using Deb's pen to stir the paint. <laughs> well, pen? You know. My pencil? Uh, no, I think I was using the end of your stencil oh. brush. Okay, so he's drilling holes on the other side because it's really thick wood and our screws are only so long. So we have to drill it to like go a little further. So I'll probably have to sand the bottom side a little more. I didn't sand that super well. We'll do it off camera. Yeah. We'll <laughs> it's so later. cold my nose is running. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, did you tell me, if you guys are channel members, did those pictures go up? I haven't gotten them up yet because okay. I need you to go get the disclosure document that oh, allows okay. them to... So we have the printables done for this month. There are two more pictures from Paris. So if you're a channel member, watch out for the community tab for the printables going up later today. And then hopefully we'll get up our book chapter in the next couple days. Our main priority right now is just getting that done. So that way our contractor can get here. So it's going to be a little delayed. And then our members only live will be next Tuesday at whatever time I put in community. <laughs> I can't remember. I think it's 10.30. Check the community tab. I think it was 10.30. Um, yeah, I think you're correct. <laughs> you should probably never use a drill on your lap. Just saying. What? I drill, use a drill on my lap all the time. <laughs> oh, the fireplace does not work. There's cement. Like, they cemented it all in. So this part up here is like solid cement. It would totally ruin it to try to jackhammer that out. But Zeb says that there's what? Did you say that there's that we can put in there? So there's all kinds of different smokeless options and electrical inserts and things that we could do, like uh, fireplace inserts. That don't have, that don't need to be vented yet. Yeah, so, and there's there's some ventless options. So and so we'll, we'll get something going that generates heat in there eventually. But right now it's just gonna stay blank and maybe have like some logs in the bottom or something. Some Yule logs oh. or some candles, candle holders, a basket. Uh, Catherine says, at least he knows how to use the drill. My husband doesn't even know how to hold mine correctly. It just takes practice. Bobby says, I miss the kids, Jack made my day. Jack is like three blocks away at the school. We can actually hear the kids playing on the playground from the farmhouse. <clears throat> how do we get along so well even though we're together 24 7 i don't know we like each other sometimes we argue there was an argument yesterday i told her i couldn't save all the things um and then i just started demo <laughs> <laughs> i don't know if it was an argument so much as like a stern conversation about my love for old junk and <laughs> And then I was informed that we needed to get things done. And I was like, you're probably right. We kind of have a system though. Like at the farmhouse, he's the boss. At the shop, I'm the boss pretty much. Like he knows what's going on here and keeps this project rolling. And I know what's going on at the shop. And I make sure that, you know, it's stocked and all that kind of stuff. And Caitlin handles all the employees at the shop. So between the three of us, we all have our little duties and it works out pretty good. Julie says we're best friends. That is also true. <laughs> <Let's turn. laughs> uh oh i might have drilled that one too deep denise says i need heat in my garage so i can keep working this winter um heat is a must we actually have a heater in our other garage that will be moving over to this garage shortly 
I think I have a video on spraying paint that has the link. Yeah, I, it's been use. so long I can't remember, but we do have a heater that we use in the garage that works pretty darn good. We, I just work at the work, the shop now. I paint in my studio, so we don't really have as much of a need to heat the garage. We might. I'm gonna hook the heater up in this garage. You You're gonna need it, it for when you do woodworking, when you do online order stuff. Because if you guys don't know, if you go to jamierayvintage.com and you order like corbels or any cutouts or candlesticks, they're all made by Zeb. About once a week, he gets in there and he fills all the orders. All right. How's it working out for you? I missed, I missed my mark. Oh, these <clears throat> cup holes are actually really cute. I wasn't sure if I was gonna like them, but I think they're kind of farmhousey. Yeah, you can use all kinds of different. We are going to, when Whoa. he's done with this, we'll distress this a little bit, but we're gonna come back and seal this with butcher block oil so that way it's food so safe. We'll probably do two or three coats of butcher block oil to really seal that paint in there. Uh, you're still not gonna wanna submerge it in water. It'll be like a damp cloth is the only way you're gonna clean it. I mean, that's gonna be the same case with any kind of serving board, but it'll make it um, so you can wipe it and make it food safe. Save all the things John says. Yeah, we're trying, we're saving lots. You can get a DVD of a fireplace burning and have a screen in the fireplace, right? <laughs> you know, if you gotta have a faux fireplace, it might as well be 100 years old, so. We haven't decided what kind of mantle situation we're gonna do. I'm thinking that I'm gonna build a mantle that like goes to the outside so it doesn't cover up any of this brick and it'll make it look appear wider because it's kind of a narrow um, fireplace. So I want the mantle to go on the edge and then come across that way. Um, so I, is... I was thinking floating mantle, but that's a little bit more modern. Is that not working? Well, I missed my hole by more than I thought. And so now it's... <laughs> Without, so it's going to require some construction adhesive? Well, you know, it's just going to... Get, everybody gets to watch me struggle on live YouTube. <laughs> it's only 10.35, so we're going to do another tray? Oh, uh, yeah. All right. Oh, that turned out really cute. I mean, I guess I shouldn't be surprised. It's still pretty wet, so I can't distress it. Ten, I'll show you. While he's struggling, I'm going to show you this sign again. Da -da -da -da, that we it should did with be later than 10.35. Oh, no, never no. mind. Start at 10. I forgot we started at 10 now. So. Don't worry, I got it. Okay, he's got, he's got this. I can do another um, sign on this wood over here. Yeah, you might as well. You got the stuff out. You got the Did wash we save made any up. Little, uh, little ones? I'm gonna go check the Um, out. Little pieces of wood? Yeah, they're right here. Oh, I gotta be careful, I'm by the tripod. Yeah, don't be shaking that around. Okay, success. And we'll distress this here in a minute because we do always. This is just modern wood. <laughs> All right. It's got a couple handles, you know. It's, it's not necessarily wide enough to go take all the way in like your bedroom, but it'll look good on a table. <clears throat> I could fit my oatmeal in two pieces of toast. You could. Which is pretty much my dinner every night when I, if I have to work late. Yesterday I had a parent meeting for wrestling and then I had I, a youth meeting for church. And by the time I got home, the, everybody else had eaten dinner and they ate all the pasta I'd made the night before. So Zeb made me oatmeal and toast, which is like my favorite dinner. In case you're just tuning in, this is just watered down little black dress and I made a faux stain. I need a paper towel. So we're going to add a little more age so that these trees look like they've been on here a minute. This is 220 grit. Paper towels. Yeah. I'm going to get some red on there. Sorry. Did any of you guys watch us move the, uh, um, what was I going to say? Clawfoot tub out of the uh, <laughs> addition that we just torn down? That we were going to have my son come help and Zeb's like, I think we can do this. I'm like, are you kidding me? Like, this is the conversation that went on behind scenes. I'm like, there's no way I'm going to kill myself trying to move that. He's like, I just need you to lift it up a little bit. Then I wound up power lifting the whole dang tub. I was like, thank goodness I worked out because that was a little bit heavier than I had bargained for. 
that's another waste knot. Like anybody else would probably get rid of it because that tub's in rough shape and we had to buy feet for it. But I am determined to get that tub in my kid's bathroom. And I'm gonna buy, they make kits where you can convert them and you can put the shower curtains that go all the way around. Did you bring the oil? No, I forgot. Oh, so mineral oil, food safe mineral oil over the top and this is pretty much done. That's really cute. It's really cute. Good job. And we have a mountain of this scrap wood, so. True story. All right, so I'm gonna use the Noel. I kind of want to do white. Do we have a cup anywhere uh, that we can mix this up in? I might. Because I used my cup that I brought for the white to make my faux stain that I just stained the board with. Hang on just a sec. All right. I think I've got a leftover cup in the truck. Sounds like an orange therapy commercial. You mean orange therapy? Yeah. They don't pay me either. They don't even give me free membership. I just really like orange theory. I work out, I, I didn't think I would. Debbie could tell you the first time I went to orange theory, I said I was never going back. But then I got home and I was like, you know what, I could, I could do this. And this morning, I definitely didn't wanna to go to orange theory, but sometimes in life, it's all about consistency. And so I went, even though I wasn't planning on it, and I just took it a little easy because there's no way, Zeb and I have to haul a ton of stuff today. So there's no way I was gonna do that. All right, that's a little more than I thought. Could you add a little water there and stir that up, sir, in my McDonald's cup? Missy says she loves Orange Theory. I like all the trainers. Yesterday, the, yesterday the trainers like, Jamie, you can go heavier on those weights. I know you can't. I'm like, listen, Linda, I have to go demo a house today when I'm done with this, so I'm lifting all that I can. I actually was nicer than that, but in my mind, <laughs> That's what went down. <laughs> and then they left me alone. I'm like, I have to go tear down an addition today. I can't be burning out my muscles. <laughs> Can we get a close up of the board I stained? Yep. All right, this is as the stain dries, it gets lighter because this is a clay based paint. So it kind of looks like a dark gray. You guys see that? And when I seal it, it'll darken up a little bit and I'm gonna distress this and then those colors will get much brighter once I seal them. But I didn't bring any sealer with me, so. I really do like the way this mixes up because I just used a screwdriver, not even a whisker. So the farmhouse finishes does mix up creamier and smoother than the sweet pickets. That is one of the benefits of it. Okay, so we'll move this. Can you move that over? So what I like to do is I like to use different parts of it. So are you going to go get that other one? Oh, I uh, pulled the nails yeah, out of that one. Yeah, go pull the nails out of the other one. And I'm going to stencil this. I'll keep them occupied for you. Well, okay. hold on, guys. I can't do that upside down. I got to get this on here straight. Are we going to do this one long? Do you want to leave this one big and long so it could be almost like a centerpiece? Um, yeah, let's do that one long. But would you come here for just a second? I need you to put this on here straight because your eyeballs are better than mine when it comes to straightening things. I've, I've got better eyeballs. Yeah, your eyeballs are awesome. He's going to put that on there for me and then he's going to go pull the nails out of that. We're going to make a big... Are you wanting the Noel to be in the middle? Yeah. I'm not worried about the other part. I'll use different parts. Is that good? Oh, I guess I ought to wash a paintbrush too. What color are you using? Mm, I don't know. I'll figure it out. Okay. All right, don't move it from there. Don't move it from there. Got it. Okay, so we've got our Snow White mixed Hold on, up we here. we shifted a little. Okay, there. Okay, give me that green real quick and just wipe that off with a paper towel. Real official here. Oh, you don't even want to wash it? You're going to get a greenish white, which might be cool. Yep. Whoa, excuse <laughs> me, guys. <laughs> Sam's McDonald's is coming back. All right. Where's that? Oh, I guess I'll offload it over here. Don't mind me. Just offloading way over here. All right. Still feel like that's a little much. Okay. There we go. Yeah, it's a little, it's a light green. Right. Ta-da! Noel. So let's add something else to this. What do I want it to say? Maybe I'll use the bottom part of this one. Oh, that's gonna be a little bit difficult. Okay. Don't mind Zeb, he's just out there pulling nails out of wood. 
All right, that's gotta dry. This has to dry before I do any more stenciling. I'm gonna smear it. All right, we'll leave that alone for a hot second. All right, I'm gonna sand it, so I'm gonna be done in a minute. You might wanna. I might wanna be more entertaining. All right. Comments or something. Where do you guys both get all our energy from? We sleep a lot at night. Like we get pretty good sleep at night. When you work this hard, you sleep super good at night. <laughs> How will you preserve my leftover paint? Um, I won't. I will take what's left over and I will go to the shop as soon as we're not live anymore and I'll find some things to paint with it. Because once you've mixed it up, this paint doesn't really keep well. In DIY paint, what paint color is similar to the green I'm using? Um, let me look at it. I would say aviary is pretty darn close to this. Oh, it looks like they're here with the flag. So if you see a guy, I actually won't see him, but there's a guy walking outside my window flagging the yard for all the gas lines and stuff. Okay, um, let's see, Zeb is getting his workout today. Oh, heck yeah. Uh, do we have any more questions? Sorry, I'm a little boring by myself. That's why it's the Zeb and Jamie show. All right. I have a chimney like yours, but still get stains coming through. Thinking of going gray to disguise the stain and make it a feature all. What else could I do, stencil? Um, yeah, or you could, before you paint it, you could also use like shellac to cover, to like seal in any of the stains. Uh, shellac is my go-to anytime I have stains that I can't get rid of when I want to paint something. I just shellac it and then paint over it and then you can paint any color you want. All right, sandpaper grit. Julie, what do you want to know about sandpaper grit? We use um, 220 to distress with and we use 80 when we're like cutting stuff like something really coarse and we want to get it smooth. And then we'll usually use like, I think it's 150 to go in between and then a 220 to get it really smooth. But when we distress, we pretty much always use 220. Um, so the difference is the higher the number, the softer, essentially the sand, the lower the number, the more coarse the sand is gonna be and you're not gonna get as smooth of a finish. And you don't wanna use like an 80 grit to distress because then you're gonna get squiggles in it and it's probably gonna take off more than you want. Uh, we were told to use a sealer primer so we could paint the brick. That might also be a good option. Probably whoever you talk to knows more than I do about it. I've, paint, I've done exactly one fireplace. It's the one behind me. <laughs> I went really thick with the paint on that. It's going to take a while to dry. All right, you can see that as the stain is drying, it's getting much, much lighter. It will get dark when it's sealed again. Hopefully that will be done any minute now. All right, while Zeb's sanding that board that we're going to be putting these handles on what would you like to see on that board do we do christmas trees again do you want us to do the merry christmas what should we stencil on there where do i upload photos of my house remodel if you want to share photos with the group kathleen you can just upload them to the jamie ray vintage group on facebook you have to join um, but that's where all the members and the subscribers usually go to share all their projects. Merry Christmas. A purple lily says snowflakes, which would be okay, except for the fact that I didn't bring the snowflake stencil. <laughs> um, what's the difference, biggest differences and benefits between the new paint and the original one? Um, so farmhouse finishes is not gonna chip the way milk paint will. So you don't have to add bond in it the way you normally would. It's also a little bit creamier and it's more water resistant than the regular sweet pickens. So those are the three differences, but you're not gonna get the crackle and chip the way you would with the sweet pickens milk paint. All right. How about some trees with berries? That would be really cute. Maybe we'll do that. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do a little more stenciling on this one. Well, we wait for them. Where's the green? There's not much green left in there. So here's a trick with cleaning your stencils that I haven't talked about before. Um, if you use the stencil brush and put like mild detergent, like a dish soap on your stencil brush, and you use your stencil brush to brush the paint off your stencils, it comes off very well, and you get the added bonus of also cleaning off your brush, which is good. All Where's right. the little the little brush? Where did it go? Uh, I don't know. It's under your arm. Oh, it's right here. I was hiding it. 
I just want to do these berries and then I'll move. Hold on. So what are we going to do on here? So they're thinking Christmas trees with some berries. Oh, did you ask them? Yeah, they asked for Santa's sleigh, but we don't have a sleigh. You didn't bring the sleigh? Nope. Oh, that greenish white turned out kind of cool. All right, so oh, there we go. Oh, you put that on thick. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I did not offload very well, but look how cute that little Noel is. I think I'm gonna... All right, I need you to clean off your station. Hold on, well, I'm busy, George. Oh, you're doing more berries up top? Yeah. So I only sanded the top side. I'll have to sand this some more. Um, oh, something I wanted to show you. It's full dimension lumber. Let me show you a new two by four next to this lumber so you can see how thick it is and why it's so special. Look at that. Look at the thickness on there. This is a two before you get down from the hardware store and this is full dimension, meaning it's uh, eight quarter instead of, this is basically six quarter. While you were outside before, I talked to him all about dimensions. Oh, you did? And growth rings. Oh, nice. ta -da! Little mini signs. We don't throw any of this type of wood away. We just stack it all up and then we make signs for all over the shop. Because a sign like this is rather small, but I could probably sell this for like $6.95. And I totally just used a tiny little dab of paint and it took me like, I don't know, 30 seconds all total, maybe a minute. All right, let's do the big long Okay, what are, so are we gonna do like a whole layout? Um, sure. We'll, we'll do a whole little layout here. I don't know that cup holes will be the answer on this. Maybe like some fun leather straps or a bigger handle would yeah, be in maybe order. Yeah, like a big, big handle on here. I mean, so I don't thinking, think people will be carrying it because it's like five feet long, but... I want to do some words in white on here, so I'm probably going to have to go wash this. I'm thinking green and white on this one. Okay. But so give me that Christmas tree stencil over there, that one. Yep. It's got a lot of words on it. So we could take and do like words right here. So far and fresh Christmas trees. I'm gonna actually measure this one. Yeah, oh, you're gonna get red paint on you. No. Yeah. So we're gonna do far and fresh Christmas trees in the middle. And then we'll do some Christmas trees on each side. And then we'll do these words on one side and these words on the other. So we'll have some typography on there. You think that'd be good? Yep. All right, I'm gonna go wash this paintbrush in the sink. We actually have a working sink in the farmhouse, so. All right, so 29 and a quarter is center. Let's make a little mark there. I'll measure from the other way just to make sure my math was mostly right. Oh man, right on. Perfect. Okay. So it's 58 and a half inches. And so words in the center, you said, right, Jamie? Okay, do you want the whole thing? Farm fresh Christmas trees. I'm just gonna get it centered and ready. Oh no, I lost my mark. I made it so light. Here we are. I'm hoping when my mom comes next week, she'll clean that bathroom for me. The bathroom has been broken in. We've now washed paint in the sink. Yup. The, right, the farmhouse is official. Well, I kept, I said that I was not going to wash any paintbrushes in, in the house sinks. I would, we have a big slop sink. If you guys have seen the back porch of the, the Jamie Ray Vintage shop in Lehigh, it's got a big sink. That's going in my garage here. Okay. Do some really vintage detailed wrought iron handles. That's what I was thinking. Some really big That would be cool. Ones. Oh, they said the long would be, would be good for like a giant sub. Oh yeah. Well, and you can get those too. You can order those up. You can get those. You can get those. Yep. I'm just saying, like, you don't have to build it yourself. Oh yeah, for sure. If I order Christmas stencils today, when will they arrive in Texas? Um, usually, she. I mean, it's ten business days, but normally, if you order just and well, stencils ship directly from the manufacturer. It really doesn't matter when you order them. Um, but usually, they're within like five or so days. If you have a rush, though, you need them for a specific thing. You can always let us know. And we'll try to get them out as fast as possible. Um, my I've got a big also. stack of lumber that the camera is actually on, so I don't think I can bring you guys in Do much closer. Do I put closer. the hangers on the back of the little ones, like these ones? No, normally I just make them so they're, they're like little shelf sitters. I, I mean, for $6.95, I'm not putting a ton of effort into them at that price point. Um, but you can. You can put little hangers on them. 
All right, without shaking you guys around too much. I've got to stay in the back of these though because they look not so pretty. I'm going to try to move this Seth frames close. them, I don't worry about it because he leaves a little ledge on there. And that allows you to hang them on that. And some days that will get back to having time to, to frame my signs. I'm hoping like March. March. You know, the we'll shop have, is going to be so good in March. We'll have all the trimmings and things done on yourself. the house. All right, so I'm, I'm just staying in the back of this. That way, if it's sitting no matter what direction, it doesn't look bad. There you guys, that's a little closer. All right, I'm going to stay in the back of that other sign too. Oh. All right. And a sign this size is probably like $9.95 at my shop, just to give you guys an idea of pricing. I have some that I painted black and stenciled in white, and I just painted the edges and put them out. And they just, they really also just add a little cuteness to vignettes and whatnot. People like to sit them around their home. So another tip to getting a clean stencil, you see how I got this long stencil? It kind of bubbles up here in the center, got a little bounciness to it. I hold it down as I go where the letters are. You might get a little bit of paint on your fingers, but you're gonna get much crisper lines too. All now, if I frame this stencil, I probably wouldn't go as far as to stay in the back of it, but these, because they kind of just sit around the shop, I like to have all the edges finished. And I will just distress this with 220 sandpaper and then seal it with clear wax and we're good to go. All right, I don't know where to put this. This brush is quiet. It's it's not loud like the other brushes. Yeah, well the other <laughs> brush is like got a lot more stuff behind it. What color are you using the white? That's what you said, right? Yep. Just shucking. I can show you guys the distress with this 80, but I gotta be really careful with it. I have 220 right here. You have 220? What? You've been withholding? Okay, I'll show you. No, guys. I used it on the other brush. <laughs> around the edges and bring back some of that light natural wood and that's pretty cute. Oops, I spit on that a little. All right, there you go. It'll be all right. Now, like when I seal this, those colors will brighten a ton. Okay, what next? What, what next? Yep. Well, let me take it off, let me see. What next on the layout? Oh, um, oh, I was gonna do trees on each side. So we did the farm fresh Christmas trees. How do you make the DIY paint? You can buy DIY paint. It sounds a little misnomer because people think DIY paint like you made it yourself, but it's just, that's the brand is DIY paint. You can buy it at jamierayvintage.com. You can purchase it at my shop or you may have a retailer buy you. You can always see if there's somebody close to you that sells the paint. Okay, what else? All right, um, trees. Trees. But we're using the farmhouse finishes because this is gonna be a food tray. So we want it to be food safe. So we're gonna do some trees and then we'll do some more words and then I'll probably put some, some berries maybe around underneath that. We'll see. Oh. I wanna make sure I've done all the white I wanna do so I don't have to keep washing that little brush. That's, I should have grabbed three brushes. That started out a little thick and it's getting real thick. <laughs> the longer your paint sits, the thicker it's going to get. So keep that in mind too. But you can always add our water. Oh, no problem, Vulture Dumpster Diver. I think that the name DIY paint sometimes leads people to think that I make it myself. I get that. It's just paint that you can DIY with. Do they, would they buy these signs from fan blades? I think if you made them cute enough, you could. I upcycle a lot of different things. I haven't tried a fan blade yet. The only thing with fan, fan, fan blades, I can't even talk, they're a little bit um, usually slick and shiny, so sometimes they're a little bit more difficult to work with. So that's something to keep in mind. You might want to start off by painting them so they look less manufactured, like fakish. Like maybe paint them black, let it dry really good, then stencil in white and then sand it and it would look maybe like a chalkboard. That would be kind of fun. Um, Mag says, I've repainted every ceiling fan blades for years, DIY paint makes 
Yeah, the farm finishes comes in a powder and you just mix it with water. So it comes in a bag like this. So this is a two ounce bag of paint and it covers 12 square feet and you, it makes four ounces of paint. It makes a little bit less when you're stenciling because you want to make it a little thicker so you add less water. All right, I'll get you the close up here in just a sec. You're, they can see you, you're doing good. You can see it okay? Woo! You're struggling with that iPad today. Yeah, well, my phone was dead. So I, this is my daughter's iPad. She left it in the car. So Eliza, if you're watching this, thanks for leaving your iPad in the car. A lot of times people, when they come to our shop, love to buy things that we have made using wood specifically from the farmhouse just because it's kind of a connection with us so that's something that's kind of fun um, and then definitely people from lehigh because this home's been here for a hundred years so they love having a little piece of history there's a lot of Le lehigh pride runs deep in this town it's still a small town yeah it's there's getting bigger quick Seventy thousand people live here but it's still really a small town all right we're getting there I'm dividing that up. I just love the trees. I think it looks We're great. just gonna put trees on everything. We're just gonna put Christmas trees on everything. It's very farmhouse. All right. All right, so then we're gonna put the the pine, this part here. Uh-huh. This. The right, pine spruce fir. Yeah, but would that be, hold on, let me see this. Like, um, I need to see it. I was like, thinking we should probably do like some berries or something I am, on the but side. I wanna do some more words. Oh, okay. So I want to do this part here, the pine spruce and the cut and carry, and then the free cocoa. Would that be weird? Because that's going to be thinner. Um, yes. Okay. So maybe we'll do this here on both sides. So it's even. So all this part here. So you want this end over yeah, we'll there? Yeah, duplicate it. Yeah. Okay. What color? Red? White. White. And then the red. I need a bigger brush for that. I can do it. You want to start doing some, um, well, you can straighten this and I'll do that. Do you want to answer questions then? No, I'm going to reach over and do it right now. All I right. was just wanting to go faster. <laughs> just got to go fast. You uh, you're not, you're not centered. I'm moving to suburban Detroit to an area with only 12,000 residents. That's awesome. That's fine. The thing about Utah is that all, at least where we live, all the cities connect. So Lehigh has 70,000. But between here and the state capitol, there's no like space. It's just one continuous city along the freeway. How much is a bag of the paint? So these little samples are $6 a bag. And you could do a lot. I mean, it doesn't take very much paint to do what we're doing. And you could also use these little bags to make like the stain that I did here with the DIY paint. If you wanted to use the farmhouse finishes, you just buy, um, what color pitch black and you would just water that down and you could do the same thing but yeah these little bags are six dollars and you can get a lot of signs done with them because it doesn't take very much paint okay how will you hang the large sign french cleats or is it a giant tray this is going to be a giant tray um but if you wanted to hang this sign you could absolutely put some french cleats on the back you messed and up the C somehow. I messed up the C. It's all wrinkled up. It needs oh, iron. So if your stencils get a little crooked because you don't put them away correctly, I don't know who would do that. Maybe me. You can take an iron and put a cloth between the stencil and your iron and be careful that you don't melt it. But these are thick enough. You can iron them and flatten out your stencils. I Sorry, I cut you off. What were you talking about? The signs? I don't know. Oh, you could totally hang this with French cleats on a wall. It would be cute. You could even put some hook. You could do something like this, long and skinny, and put hooks along the bottom and make a coat rack. Uh oh, I got some white up there. We'll sand it. Oh, here. Yeah. There you go. It went away. It never happened. <laughs> <laughs> now we're gonna have to wash that part before people put boot on it. Can you do channel membership on an iPad? You cannot see community posts on an iPad but you can look it up on your phone and send the link over to your iPad and use the links on your iPad, but you can't see community from an iPad. It's some YouTube situation. Probably some feud between Apple and Google. How much will you charge for the boards? This is a long board. This board will probably be somewhere in the $60 range just because the wood itself is worth quite a bit. Um, and the smaller one, probably like 40. 
because this is the same type of wood that we use to make our cutting boards and our cutting boards are well it's not as wide but our cutting boards are usually um about a hundred dollars for the big ones all right we're almost there we're getting there you're doing good you're very patient Zebra. i guess that comes from years and years of being married to me no it's easy being married to you oh you're good to me i don't know where to put they wanted berries on this Maybe like right here. We got some more space there. Well, and the handles on this don't have to be pushed out all the way to the edge. They could be more, they could be like a couple inches from the edge too. All right, where's the big fatty? Um, there's a green one right yeah, there. Yeah, that one, that's what I meant. Does that look centered to you? Sure. I'm gonna put the green on here and then we'll come back and do the berries when you're done with that. Okay. In my effort to go quickly, I think I didn't offload enough on this second run over here. That's all right. It'll get distressed. The wood on this, the grain is so deep just from age and it's rough cut lumber that when you distress it, it goes away pretty easily. I realize now I'm gonna have to hold this here until you're done. Are you needing the white? I know. I need red. Oh. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, if you were gonna stencil on material, you can use these same paints and then after it says 24 hours, then you just use your iron and heat set it. Oh, I did some shifting. We'll see how this turns out. This end might have to get sanded off. <laughs> ah, you made me shift a lot. There's a whole lot of shifting. I'll have to come back and... Oh, it's fine. It's fine. What, now, what are we waiting on? Um, would you wash that brush so I can put some berries on here? Didn't you bring in three brushes? No, I've only had two. That's why we keep having to wash it. <laughs> all right. It's all fun and games, so you have to wash it up fast because I'm running out of things to talk about. <laughs> watch out for the appliances. Um, so Trish, Tish says, absolutely love you guys. Y'all have really inspired me to start my own repurposing business here in Pennsylvania. Awesome. It's a lot of fun to do what we do. And I love it because it gives me a creative outlet, but it also happens to be my job. This is gonna be interesting for me to try to match up those leaves that I did on top. I think that that looks okay over there where you stencil. Yeah, so I said. That's fine. I should have brought, we have an even smaller stencil brush and I should have brought that for these berries. All right, I need that. A little bit precarious. Right. You're just going over a little bit. Yeah, whatever. It's, it's okay. Now I need you to find where the berries are on that. I don't think that's right. Wait, what did you do? I used part of that, like. But what part? I don't know, because <laughs> you kind of pushed me out of the way when you were doing that earlier. Like it, you nudged it a little, and I don't know. There was no pushing. There was no pushing. It was like intent to push with. I think this is right here. I think. No. No. That's not right. Hold on a second. <laughs> put berries on the trees. I don't, I think that these, if I was going to put berries on the tree, I would need smaller berries. Okay. So that leaf goes that How way. How about we'll just do this. Hold on. No, I found it. You found it? Are you sure? It's just throwing me off because you got everything green. Oh, I think you did find it. Separate, I love you. All right, let's get these berries on here. Don't move it now. All right, there you go. Ta-da! Oh, cute. All right. There's the whole board. I'll give you a close pass by here in just a second.
It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Oh, it's cute. You're gonna see all of the mistakes. I can't reach any farther without messing the camera. All right, now, <laughs> you'll have to show them from the other side. If you get, so the camera is sitting on top of our pile of lumber in the farmhouse. So it's a little bit hard to get directly in front of it. All right, now show them the other side. There you go. <laughs> All right, I think they've now seen the whole board. Now we're gonna take that home, we'll distress it, we'll seal everything up um, that's gonna be for food trays with butcher block oil, so it's food safe, along with the farmhouse finishes, paint that's food safe. And then we'll put some really fun knobs on each side and make a really long tray that somebody can put down the middle of their um, farm table or on a buffet for a Christmas buffet, or even they could set it up on a fireplace mantle would be really pretty. And then we got the mini version right here. Yep, the mini version. If you came in late, did this one earlier. All right, guys, thank you for joining us on Waste Not Wednesday. Make sure you're hitting up jamerayvintage.com for your stencils, your farmhouse finishes, paint, and all your DIY needs. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so, and give us a thumbs up and subscribe, or oh, I said it the wrong way, for more. <laughs> to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY. There you go. That's the thing. Love Time you guys. to put her to work. She's thinking about too much I know. stuff. I gotta clean up this mess and then we gotta haul some stuff to the to the dump. Bye. Alright guys. guys, catch you later.